Welcome back to Way of the Wrench. And has this ever happened to you? You're scrolling through these hundreds of games that you have in your pinball cabinet and you really just can't remember the rules on how to play that table before you pick it. Or you're actually in the game and you forgot kind of one little subtle rule. Wouldn't it be great to just hit a button on your cab and have the instructions pop up like that and then get what you need and hop back to your game. How cool is that? Stick around, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now when you're taking a look at the instruction cards, they can be a little hard to read. Maybe a little better if you have a 4K display, but realistically it's hard to read and it would be great to have this to be able to have it blown up on a screen so that you can see exactly what you need to know. So let me show you how to do that today. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is find out where you've got your pinup popper stuff. So we're gonna go into pinup popper config. And then from here, we are going to go to Media Manager first. And then we're going to pick one of the games that you are wanting to add. So for right now, we're going to go to Tales of the Arabian Nights. And you'll notice that right now, my help screen doesn't have anything. So if we want to put something in, we can click on here. And if nothing pops up automatically, just check what you got here. So I'm going to start typing in Tales of the Arabian Nights and do a search there. And then we've got two instruction cards here. So if we double left click on one, it'll download it. And then you can see what it looks like. So there is some instructions here, although these are not the greatest. Um, there's a lot better ones out there. So if you want to use this one, just click use image. And then you can see it's gone green. So now we have the instruction card. Now, if you're wanting to put in something a little nicer in there, um, you can take a look at um, VPU and download something from there. So uh, if we go to VP Universe and if we go to Downloads, and on the right hand side here, we're going to go all the way down to the bottom here where it says Pinball Front End Downloads. So we're going to go to Front End Media Files. And then what we're looking for is an instruction card. Now you can use the alphabet here and click on which uh, game you're looking for. In our case, we want Tales of the Arabian Nights, so there's one here. And uh, this is done by Ordes. Ords, I'm probably butchering your name. Uh, Frank, thank you very much for this work. Uh, he's not the only one, there's lots of people in here. Um, but he's done some really nice ones here that I want to put in. So go ahead and click on that and then log yourself in and download it which I already have. So I'm gonna open up my downloads section here and it's right here, the help card Totan. So if I keep this open and just kind of minimize this a little bit, go back to this one, we can literally take this left click and hold and drag it over to where I want it here. Let it go and it's gonna say, what do you wanna do with it? We wanna overwrite it. And that's it, that one's done in there. If you need to, you can double click, left click on here, and it'll give you an idea of what it looks like. Okay, so now we've got the one game in there. You can go through and start adding all of them for all your different tables. But for right now, we're gonna close this. And then we're gonna go over to Popper Setup here. And the very first thing we need to do is actually see what the keys are to actually get this to work in our game. And if you look here, Game Help, which is your instruction card, comes up if you press the letter H on your keyboard. So it's already set up and ready to go. However, I wanna be able to do this without a keyboard. I just hit a button on the front of my cabinet. So what I do is I highlight the Game Help, and then I'm gonna double left click on it. And what this will allow you to do is press a button on the cabinet, and when that button is pressed, it will allow the instruction cards to come up. All right, when you're trying to figure out which buttons you can use here, try to pick a button that isn't really used when you're using the, the front end and when you're in game so that nothing gets affected. So uh, for example, if I have the red button as the instruction card, when I'm in a game, I'm gonna exit. And if I have it in the front end and I press the start button, it's gonna start loading that game or start loading that menu for that game. So for me, I've really got only two options here. Uh, I can use the extra ball button or the launch ball button. 
but I figured that the launch ball button we use quite a bit in game. So that'll be kind of annoying for games where you have to use the button for launching the ball. But the extra ball button is really not used that often. It's only for games that have buy-ins, games like Flintstones. And I, I wouldn't even doubt if it's less than a couple percent of the games that actually use it. And um, I've already pre-tested it. When you've got the buy-in, it allows you to buy-in. Uh, it just pops up the menu and it still lets the game continue with your buy-in credits. And you just hit it again to put the instructions away. So I'm gonna go with my buy-in button. So with that highlighted, go ahead and press the button you wanna use. And it has selected that and it thinks it's joy code button number 11. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is we're gonna go to global config. And then from these menus here, we're gonna actually go to script. Now, you may or may not have these in your custom options here, but what you're actually looking to add here is this one right here. You're gonna to want to add exactly how it's written here, show info in game equals one. Now, if you have that there and it says one, this will allow that help screen instruction cards to come up during the game. If you don't want it during the game, just don't put this code in or make it equal to zero. But I wanted mine in game so that I can figure out instructions as I'm playing. So make sure you type that in there, make sure you save it, and then we can exit and launch and see if this works out for us. So I've got all the music muted here so I don't have any issues with YouTube copyrights. So if we go to our table that we just put in, there it is right there. And if I press my extra ball button while I'm in the front end, bam, look at that. Beautiful artwork, thanks to Ords. And, uh, we can figure out exactly what this game's about before we start it. And then when we're done, we just press the extra ball button again, it goes away. And then I'm gonna start playing the game so I can show you it works in there as well. And I'll start the game just to show you. Where's the game going? Hear that beautiful SSF going. And let's say I need to figure something out. Beautiful. In game, and it doesn't actually pause the game, which might actually be a cool function too. But in this case, it allows you to play while you have that up. So if you really want to learn the rules, you can keep that up instead of looking at the DMD. Just an option. So I've gone ahead and put some more instruction cards for all my tables. So here's a couple of these other ones. Look at that, beautiful. All the time and effort somebody put into this instruction card. There's Attack from Mars. Bad cats. Awesome. Okay, now some troubleshooting. If this does not work for you for whatever reason, I would go back to the keyboard and see that you can actually get this to work with the keyboard itself. So if you can with the keyboard, then it is not that issue, it's an issue with the buttons. And if it does not work with the keyboard or the buttons, then I'm gonna show you something else. You should go into the popper and take a look at the actual monitor you are displaying and saying that you want pinup popper to use for the game help. So let me show you that. So if your instruction cards are not popping up, it's time to take a look at where Pinup Popper thinks that screen's supposed to be displayed. So we're gonna go back to Popper Config, and then we're gonna to go to Popper Setup, and this time we're gonna to go to Screens. And over here where it says Configure Displays and Locations, we're gonna click on that. Uh, you can say yes or no to this. And in this case here, we're gonna go right down to Game Help and it should show you on which display that it is putting this up. So in my case, it's on my full DMD, but if it's on another screen, uh, that might be part of the reason why this is happening. So for example, if we put it on there, uh, you could have it up on the back glass, or for those of you that would rather have it even bigger, the instruction cards, you could put it up over your back glass. Um, I've got a full DMD, so I decided to put it there. Okay, and then this is for my display three. So just make sure it's on the right screen. That could be all that's happening for you. Uh, if that's not it, uh, make sure you save your settings on the way out. Exit. Uh, you can take a look at the mode for the actual screens. So for me, mine, I've got a force pop here. So if it's not that, maybe change it to that and give that a try. Ooh, look at how beautiful that looks on my cabinet. And you can go do that on yours now too. So get, get, go do it on your cabinet. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't already, why don't you follow us on Instagram and smash that subscribe button on the way out of here and stay tuned for yet even more V-pin goodness coming down the tube. Till next time, take it easy.